Eh. Unprofessional. Hello, my lovely little savages. Welcome to Shadechasm. Today, we are continuing my customer service series, which, I mean, can you call it a series if it's only two videos? Um, possibly more to come soon, but today, we are talking about co-workers that drive me crazy every day. Except this month, because I work like an average of a day a week right now. But, uh, yeah. Last week was customers that drive me crazy. Top five. This is another top five. Only no bonus today, sorry. But anyway, let's uh, get right to it. Five co-workers that drive me crazy. Number one, bitter backstabber. So the bitter backstabber will be the first one to compliment you and will also be the first one to totally destroy you behind your back. Not only will they talk about you to other coworkers, but also to your managers, to everybody, basically to everybody. They're shady, 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 shady. They're some shady hoes. I'm looking at you. Now in this video, we will have a, a series of dramatic reenactments starting now. This is the bitter backstabber. Oh, you are doing so good. Keep it up, good job. Five minutes later. Trump really needs to build a wall around that one. Let me add some gum for dramatic effect. Trump really needs to build a wall around that one. He's crossed the border of stupidity so many times, it should be illegal. Number two, the lazy slob. No, I am not talking about me. I know you can, you know, with me looking like a grizzly bear and everything. It, I can't hide it. I'm, I can't be bothered to shave. I'm too lazy. But let's talk about at work, shall we? So on the clock, the lazy slob basically looks around, finds something to clean if you work in customer service, like me, twiddles his thumbs, pretending to work, but we all know he ain't doing nothing. Just standing there, taking up space, off the clock in the break room. They're the ones that you'll find by the microwave waiting for their spicy buffalo wings to heat up. Okay? And by the time that heating up happens, and you know they're not going to clean that sauce explosion up. No, they're going to leave the crap all over the microwave, all over the break room, just in time for you to heat something up every time. Are you really gonna just leave your burrito guts all over the microwave? I need to heat up my three-day-old sad bachelor pizza. Not my job. Well, I just figured you might want to change your pace, you know, to break up the monotony of doing nothing all day. Number three. The bumbling babble mouth. Never shuts up, always talking. And I think you know the one. It's probably you. I mean, if, if you don't know, it's probably you. Now this is probably the last person that you're gonna wanna see in the break room. Avoid this person at all costs. If you value your, you know, ears that don't bleed and eyes that don't roll in the back of your head. But if you like that kind of thing, engage. Oh god, I gotta get out of here before... Hey! Crap. Oh my god, we get to work together. Can you believe the hours that we got? Oh, I just hate working at night. Do you like working at night? I mean, it really gets in, in the way of my mushroom hunting. Have you ever gone mushroom <laughs> Go on. I'm just I'm I'm, ba I'm backing up, but I'm I'm just gonna inspect the door handle. I think it's a little creepy. Oh, that's okay. I could just talk about mushroom hunting all day. Do you ever go mushroom hunting? Oh, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> but wasn't that funny? 
Hello. Where'd he go? Number four, the manager mouthpiece. So this person is possibly the most hated person in your department, in your whole building. They're basically the management suck up that likes to delegate all of their work that the manager has just given them onto you. Basically, they're the manager's lap dog. But since they give it all to you, you basically do all the work while they find a manager that's bent over and pucker up. Hope they brush their teeth afterward. So, yeah, I really need you to do this thing that the manager just told me to do. Well, if they told you to do it, how does that involve me? Well, you know, I'm really busy not doing anything, you know, productive, especially over here. Yeah, it must really stink having your nose up the manager's anal cavity all the time. Number five, the last one, the Debbie Downer. Basically the most negative person at work. And coming from me, I mean, that's saying something. I'm not known for being a, uh, an optimist. But, you know, I can have a laugh at work. I, I go in between, you know. I'm not always negative, I'm not always positive. I'm, I'm a medium. But these people, mm -hmm. they don't even bother trying to be, like, fake happy. They don't, they're not passive aggressive. They will just, they don't bother to be any, anything other than complaining just complain about everything. If you come across a Debbie Downer, first of all, I'm so sorry. Prepare to hear about horrible hours, terrible shifts, unfair management, all of their aching body parts, and of course, the TMI, the pitfalls of their love life. Basically, everything. Hi. And you know, I'm sure this is how people see me, because I'm, they automatically think sarcastic is like, I'm the biggest pessimist to ever live. Maybe because it's because I'm a soulless robot who doesn't want love or affection. Oh well. Hey, how are you? Oh, crap. Oh my god. These hours they're giving us are crap hate being here at night. Stupid unfair managers making us deal with horrible customers. Don't they know my whole freaking body hurts from my never-ending search for love? Mm. So, um, well, ever considered the Tide Pod Challenge? No more love problems. Okay guys, that was the five co-workers that drive me insane what kind of co-workers do you work with that drive you insane please leave a comment down in the comment box below people still call it a comment box anyway you can find all my um my website all of my links uh, to social media for shade chasm down in the box below and I'll make sure to update my first video with that as well. I hope you enjoyed this customer service series to stop to uh, start off this channel. Next video, uh, I think I'll be doing like a what not to do at the movie theater, kind of a random one. But I I've, I've been to the movies several times uh, recently, so I figured that would be a good one. I got a Tumblr, a Twitter, a Facebook page. I got all of that set up, so be sure to visit those in the those uh, links in the comment box. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hello, my lovely little savages. This is me. <laughs> I plan not to go better. I don't know why. <laughs>